Well, hi, folks, and happy holidays. Scott Kelby here from KelbyOne.com. We're going to do a cool little Photoshop technique that you see used a lot on social media. You'll see this in Twitter ads and Facebook ads and stuff like that. It's where you take an image like this, right? And it doesn't have to be an image like this, but you take an image, of course, and you're going to put it, make it look like it's you're seeing it inside a tablet or a tel or a monitor, a television monitor, or a laptop or a phone. And in this case, we're going to do it to both a tablet and a phone. It's a very, very easy technique, and we're also going to add a little reflection effect at the end to help sell the idea. It's a simple copy and paste for these. Select all and copy, simple copy. Then we go over to the other image that we want this to appear into. We're going to select the area where we want it to appear, this black area, right? So we're going to go and choose the quick selection tool, which allows us to basically kind of a paint over a selected area. And look at that. It selected the whole area that we want to our image to appear in. Now, if you go up here under edit and you just choose paste, right? It's just going to paste it like right on top, which is not what we want. Let's hit undo. We want to paste into that selection. So we're going to go paste and we're going to choose paste special. And we're going to choose paste into, paste into our selection. And -da! Now, of course, the perspective doesn't look right at all. We're going to fix that easy enough. We're going to press Command T on Mac, which would be Control T on a Windows machine. And first thing we're going to do is hold the Shift key and kind of scale it down. So grab the corner points and let's get it close to the you know the size. And we'll kind of rotate it too, just to kind of help out a little bit. All right, we're getting closer. It's not like right on the money or anything, but we're going to fix that next. Okay, so now how do we make the perspective look correct? We're going to use a feature of Free Transform called Distort. You can hold the Command key on Mac, or it would be the Control key on Windows. Once you're holding that key, you can grab a corner point, and you can distort it to where you want it. And we're going to make it match up with the four corners here. Let's get this one and make it match up over here. All right, let me zoom out just a bit so I can reach this corner point over here. And we can go back up larger. And oops, let's move that up here to what lines up a little better. And the last one we're going to, we can't really see exactly where the lines are because it's behind that stinking phone. But we're going to kind of get as close as we can. I think it's something like that, probably. Something along those lines right there. And we'll tweak this top maybe a little bit. There we go. When you're done, you can press the return key uh, on Mac or the enter key on Windows, and it locks in your transformation. Now, we have the image in there, and the perspective is decent. It's not like, you know, outstanding. But <laughs> here's what we're going to do. We're going to add a reflection effect, a little glassy reflection. So we're going to come over here to the Layers panel. We're going to hold the Command key on Mac or the Control key on Windows, and you see the little black mask that created we're going to click on that and it reloads the selection as if we drew it from scratch right so then what we're going to do is this we're going to add a new blank layer we're going to click on the new layer icon right over there we're going to fill that selected area with white by pressing option delete make sure white of course is your foreground color press option delete and it puts that in there now we're going to erase part of this white layer we're going to use the polygonal or depending on how stuffy you are, the polygonal <laughs> lasso tool, and we're going to select the area we want to erase. So just click once, and it draws a straight line, and we're going to erase all of this right here. So just kind of click all the way around, and then when you get back to where you started, a little circle says, you've come full circle. And there's your selected area. Hit delete on Mac, or backspace on Windows, and voila, it is, and when deselect, of course, and it's removed that chunk. Then we're going to go over to the layer and make this see through. We're going to drop it way down to where you just have kind of a little bit of a glassy look to it. Something along those lines. Now, we're going to do the same thing to this one here now that you know the technique and it'll go much quicker. We're going to get the quick select tool, perfect for stuff like this. We're going to select that phone area. We already have the image copied into our memory, so we're going to choose paste into. And, of course, it doesn't fit. Let's go to Free Transform and make it smaller. And we're going to kind of make it the size of the screen. Now, of course, this one is tall, a tall screen instead of wide, so we're not going to get to show the whole photo. We're going to rotate it a little bit, kind of get the size a little bit closer. And then we're going to use that same uh, distort command. Hold Command on Mac or the uh, Control key on Windows, and we're going to line these sides up 
to where it looks pretty good. Something like that over there. And down here, we'll have to pull this in and get that a little flatter. Something like that. If you want to get a little closer, we can move this over to make sure we're... Yeah, we're off a little there. It's got to match the screen really well. And voila, there we go. Hit the return key on Mac or enter to lock it in. And we're going to do the same little reflection trick. Add a new layer. We're going to click on that layer mask. We're going to hold the command key and click on that layer mask. On the new layer, we're going to fill it with white. Deselect. And then we go and grab the polygonal lasso tool. And we'll just kind of cut this area away right here that we don't want. And then we can lower the opacity and we are done with getting our images inside those devices. Now, if you like Photoshop stuff like this, and if you've gotten to this far in the tutorial, I'm going to say you really like Photoshop. Well, we do too. Come over to kelby1.com where we have tons and tons and tons of not just tutorials like this, and yes, we have some quick tips and tutorials like this, but really, uh, this is not a tutorial-based online training. It is a full-length courses. It's an educational training track. Uh, it is really about you really, really, really getting good at Photoshop. So if you spent like the last year or so and you're thinking, yeah, I mean, I picked up a couple tutorials that got a little bit better, but I'm not really where I thought I'd be after a year, come and join Kelby One. You can do it now for $9.99 a month and have access to just a just incredible collection of Photoshop in-depth online training from the best trainers on the planet. You're going to love it. You're going to learn a lot. And this next year, you're, you are going to just take a giant, giant, giant leap in your Photoshop skills and productivity and how much fun you have in Photoshop. It's going to be a great year for you. I would love to see you over at kelby1.com. Thanks so much. Happy holidays, everybody. And we'll see you next time.